Greetings, brothers and sisters in Christ. We come to the 11th Sunday of Ordinary Time. In the Gospel today, Jesus said to the crowds, this is how it is with the kingdom of God. Jesus, most of his parables are about the kingdom of God. He's trying to tell us what God's way is like. And it's often in comparison or contrast with how we think things are or how things seem to be in this world. The way of God is a better way and a different way. And Jesus is obsessed with helping us to know what is the kingdom of his Father like. Uh, that word kingdom is a Greek word, basileia, and it means more like a kingship or a power instead of a place. So we think that the kingdom of God is like a place we try to get to, but rather it's a power, it's a way of being, it's the way of God, and we want that way to be in us. So to belong to the kingdom or the king to, kingship of God then means that we put ourselves fully and consciously, deliberately under the power of God. And then we experience the power to be empowered by it. So God came to raise us up, to animate our life, to raise us to a higher pitch. This power is above all the power of love. It's a creating, enfolding, embracing power, an encouraging power, a power that lifts and enables us to be who we are called to be. So much of this world, I think, uh, makes us deaf to hear that. So much of this world distracts us. Um, we know that the way of America is me, myself, and I, to be bigger and bolder and better and beautiful. The way of the kingdom is to be little, to be small. The way of the kingdom is to follow the way of Jesus Christ, who humbles himself obediently, accepting even death, death on a cross. And the way of Jesus is to empty himself fully. He receives everything from the Father, and then he gives it all away. I'm fascinated by that. I want that to be in us. So today we have a couple of parables about the kingdom of God. The second one says, to what shall we compare the kingdom of God? It is like a mustard seed, when sown in the ground is the smallest of all seeds on the earth. But once it is sown, it springs up to become a large plant. Scholars say that the mustard seed is like a regular bush. There's nothing special about it. I think the important part is that we are called to sow seeds. We are called to spread seeds throughout the world. And then God is the one who will make it grow. God is the architect. So our job is simply to go out and to spread the word of God, to do acts of charity, acts of humility everywhere we can. I'm afraid that sometimes we're focused on production and product and how things turn out in the end. Especially in ministry, we can do that sometimes. Maybe if we look at our life as, my job is to just go out today to be a Christian the best way I can, every place I can, unnoticed. If I do that, then somehow the kingdom of God can jump up wherever God wants it to be. A mustard seed is a regular bush. There's nothing special about it. So in the regular part of your life, in your daily reactions, in your home, in your work, in seemingly ordinary things, we want to somehow let the kingdom of God be present there. So go out and scatter some seeds and let God build the kingdom around you in the way that he desires. God bless you. Have a good week.